Hi, welcome back. We're going to do now the refraction of light. This is one of the very important principles in um, optics. So uh, we learned in optics that when a certain source of light comes from one medium and enters into another medium, so for example, it could come from, from air, go into glass, or it could come from air, go into water, or it could go from water to glass, or glass to water, or any kind of combination. What happens when the light goes from air to glass, or air to water, is that it slows down. So when the, if we think of the light as a wave front, this, this part of the wave front enters the water first, and it slows down, causing this one to go a farther distance in a certain time. So, in a given amount of time, this point of the wave front that hits the, uh, that enters the water will travel a certain distance. This point will travel a further distance. So the wave front will shift, will bend, and then the other wave fronts will also do likewise. So the light beam will bend towards the, we call that bending towards the normal. So if we draw a normal line to the surface, this angle is the incidence angle, and this angle is the refracted angle. The equation for this is known as Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 is N2 sine theta 2, and whereas N is the index of refraction of the two mediums. Okay, so what we're going to do today is illustrate air, index of refraction of air is 1, so that's going to be my N1. Uh, and then uh, we're going to do water. The index of refraction of that will be my N2. That will be 1.33. Now we also learn in physics that the index of refraction of the material depends on the color, the wavelength of the light that we're using. But we're not going to go that much detail now. We're going to be using a laser, a red color light. Uh, so. If you wanted to be more detailed about it, you would find out what is the index of refraction of the, the water for that wavelength, and you, we would use that. So we pretty much have one here, and then we have 1.33, and then we want to see if this equation works. So I'm going to dim the lights, and we're using a laser here, and you're going to be seeing So we have a laser beam here. Uh, it's a neon laser, and uh, it comes, the co primary color is uh, uh, red, and it's gonna come at a certain angle. Now, for you to see this better, what we do, we take a certain ordinary uh, eraser, board eraser, and we kind of hit it with another eraser to make the air more chalk particles. And you can see the laser beam here entering the water and then bending towards the normal. So I'll be measuring roughly, do a quick measurement here. This angle is about 40 degrees. So uh, the laser beam is coming in at about 40 degrees. Okay, and then when it goes into the water, its angle with respect to the normal is uh, 25. So if I check that again, just to make sure, and this is the very principle why when you put a pencil or something in water, it also looks bent. When you put anything in water, uh, it's going to look bent. So if I put this here, again, check it, 10, 20, 30, 40, let's see here. Let me make it a little darker here. OK, 
Okay, about 35. So we're doing a rough measurement here. So this angle was approximately 35, and this angle was approximately 25. So if I do my math here, one sine of 35 degrees should be the same as 1.33 sine of 25 degrees. And we can put a question mark here to say, is the equation working? Now, I don't expect perfection here because I didn't really measure the angle very, very accurately, but if we just do a ballpark measurement, we could say sine of 35 is a 0.57. Is that equal to, and then sine of 25 came out 0.56. That's pretty amazing. I thought it, didn't, it wouldn't even come out that good because I wasn't very detailed when I measured the angle, but it really came out good. So we showed that light bends towards the normal, towards the, we can say kind of towards uh, more vertical as it goes from uh, air to water. And um, <clears throat> we showed that the equation works. This is also, by the way, the same phenomena behind what's known as total internal reflection. If we go from water to air, we can aim it so that, let's say there's a source of light that is coming from here. We can aim it so that it bends this way. If we aim, if we aim it at a, such an angle where it, where it might not even come out of the water, this is known as total internal reflection. And it doesn't have to be water. It could be glass or anything. So this leads us to the very science of fiber optics the fiber optics technology. If we send a laser beam through fiber optics, we can keep the laser beam trapped inside of the fiber optic cable. Okay, thank you.